So Windows 11 brings us new ways to work with multiple desktops. One of them is Snap Layouts. I'm going to show you all about it coming up next. Hey everybody, Mike here with IT Pro TV, and today we're going to be taking a look at how Windows 11 lets us work with multiple windows using Snap Layouts. But before we get started, make sure you click on that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. All right, so Windows 11 brings this new way to work with multiple windows, and it's known as Snap Layouts. It allows me to arrange my windows on a single pane of glass, or take one window basically and split them between multiple windows. Because today we, we typically work with more than one application at a time, right? And flipping between applications becomes tedious, it's kind of clunky, and it slows us down. We're not being all of that productive. So being able to work with multiple windows at the same time is key. Right? And Windows gives us several ways to do that. Some of these are not new to Windows 11. You know, we've got uh, virtual desktops uh, that we can use, which I, I personally love. I know we've done a couple of videos on those. Make sure you check those out. Those are still available in Windows 11. Uh, we've been able to switch between applications with things like Alt-Tab, that keyboard combination. Uh, we can use Windows Key Tab to switch between those applications as well. And then we had our Control Windows Key left and right arrows to switch between multiple desktops. All of these are covered in other videos we've put out here on YouTube, so make sure you check them out. But today we're here to learn about snap layouts and how we can use those uh, to make us a little more efficient and more productive on our system. So join me on my screen here and, and let's take a look at how we can do this. And Microsoft has made it really, really easy. I think you're gonna like this one. So I've got a browser open and I'm watching eh, some kooky guy teaching me something about Windows. Who knows uh, what he's talking about? But let's say you're watching a video on YouTube like this and you're trying to follow along, right? So you've got the YouTube video itself, but then you need to open up your settings so that you can do what it is they're trying to show you how to do. So I'm gonna go to my start menu and I'm gonna open up settings, right? So there's my Windows settings. Now I would also like to be able to take some notes, maybe make a note of what the setting was before so I can change it back if I need to or write down the steps because I, I just wanna have these for future reference. So I'm gonna open up WordPad uh, because that's everybody's favorite uh, word document reading application, whatever you wanna call this thing. All right, there we go. So I've got these three apps open and we would maybe use Alt-Tab to flip between these or try to click on one and then switch over to settings without actually clicking on any setting, right? And, and click over here. It's one way to do it. You can use your Alt-Tab to flip between them. You can use your Windows key tab. I could even move these to other desktops. But let's take a look at this snap layout. It really doesn't matter which window you start with, right? But I am going to take this browser. I'm going to hover, not clicking, I'm just moving my mouse right over that maximize button, right? So when you hover over this button right there, right, you're going to get this. And this is your snap grid layouts. These are the patterns, if you will, that I can use to divide up these windows. Um, Oops, and as I zoom out, it, it, oops, let me do that again. I'm going to hover over that. And I can, you can see as I move my mouse, I can click on one of these. So if I have two windows and I want to put this current window on the left, I can simply click there or put one on the right. There's one that has the left window a little bit bigger than the right. I'm actually missing a couple. I don't know, Windows just did an update before we shot this episode, and so a couple of the layouts aren't there. Maybe they're changing things, right? This is a preview build, so keep that in mind. Some of the things you see here might not be there, or you might even see more options than I'm showing you right now. I have three windows, so I'm gonna pick this layout here. This would seem to work best. I'm gonna make the YouTube video in that biggest window, and once I select that, it says, okay, Mike, you picked that three window layout. I'm gonna move this one over there where you said to, but now you have two more slots to fill. What do you wanna put there? And it sees all of the things that I have open, right? I can see my word pad and then right below here settings. So whichever one I want to put in this upper right-hand corner, I can simply click on it. I'm gonna choose settings. And then it says, all right, you got one more spot left. What do you wanna put down there in the bottom right? Well, the only other thing I have open, which in this case is word pad. And there we go. I now have this really cool layout that I can work with. I've got my YouTube video over here that I can watch and pause and play. I've got my system settings that I can go through and click on, right, without having to worry about covering up my YouTube video. And I can make my notes down here, right? So again, whatever you're trying to do, you can create this layout. Now, once you've got this layout set, you can resize them. Maybe I want that YouTube video a little bit bigger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hover 
And I don't know if I can zoom in while that's hovered. Let's try. Nope, let's try that one more time. You might notice that when I hover over that, you see this little bar that I get? You want to make sure you get that bar. So sometimes you have to move your mouse back and forth across that border. And then once you get that bar, click and hold. And now I can drag to the right or to the left to resize that. And notice I'm resizing all of the windows at the same time. So if I want a little more room for that YouTube video, it automatically shrinks the other two so they're not getting overlapped. I can still see them, right? Uh, and it resizes them accordingly. Let me pull that back a little bit. And maybe I need more room for my settings but not my, and not my notes. I can drag that border down and give myself a little more room up top. Really, really cool, really flexible what I can do with this, all right? Now that I've got this group created, let's take a look at a couple of other things that I can do. The browser is one of the windows, and you can see down at the bottom that that browser has a dot underneath it, right? So that I know that that's open. When you hover over that icon, normally you'd get a thumbnail of what that uh, uh, browser window looks like, which I do, but notice now I get this group pane as well, or this little window. It shows me all of the windows that are part of this particular group. It says the browser is part of this group. Here's the other windows that are part of that group. Now the usefulness of that is meh, debatable currently, right? But one of the cool things that I have found with it is if I right click on that group, I have a couple of options here. I can minimize the entire group. Whoa, right? And you think, well, great. Now I've done this before and now I'm going to have to resize all those windows again. No. I'm going to hover over one of the applications as part of the group. I'm going to right click on the group and choose restore group. And boom, they're all back just like that, right? In that same layout, everything is still nice and tidy. I like that feature. Makes, I think it makes these snap layouts a little more usable. The other thing you can do oops, is when you hover over that and you right click on that group is there's one called group settings. So if you want to change the way these groups are working, there are a few settings available currently, and I'm sure there'll be more later, that'll control the behavior of some of those things I've been talking about, whether or not you see the layouts when you hover over the maximize button, uh, whether if you get that little taskbar button down at the bottom that has all the group options, things like that are available in the settings. So take advantage of that, take a look and see if there's any of there that you might want to tweak to make your experience a little bit better. Now I'm going to take it one step further. If all you cared about was how to use those snap layouts, there you go. We are good to go. That's it. But I'm going to take it a step further in this video, and we're going to show you how you can combine this with the other feature, which is those virtual desktops, to take even more, to, to get even more use out of these snap grids. So I've, I've created this layout on one virtual desktop. All right, so I'm going to head down to my taskbar, and I'm going to click on that task view icon, and I'm going to choose to create a new desktop. And then I'm going to go ahead and select that new desktop. Again, check out our YouTube videos on this if you need help working with those virtual desktops. So on my second desktop, I'm going to do the same thing, right? I'm going to open up a browser and I'm going to open up a few tabs. Let's say this is my social media desktop, right? So I'm going to do LinkedIn. Uh, I also need to pay attention to my Twitter feed. Uh, I'm going to open up Facebook. Uh, I don't like that one. Uh, and then maybe I'm going to go to uh, forums.itpro.tv. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to break each one of these out into its own little window. All right. So now I have four browser windows open with my different social media platforms on them. And I'm going to hover over one of the maximize buttons. And since I've got four windows, I'm going to go with the four window layout. I'm going to pick that one. Doesn't matter. I'm going to put LinkedIn in this other one. I will put Facebook over here, and I'll put my forums.itpro.tv over there. Now I've got that four grid layout, very similar to what we saw with the three grid, three grid layout. Here's the thing. Now I can switch between my virtual desktops, and I've got three windows split over here, but I've got four windows split over here. So not only can I use this snap layout to be more efficient, I can do this across multiple desktops and I can now flip back and forth between those virtual desktops. And so I've got one arranged like this for my social media. I've got another one arranged specifically for working with um, shows and show notes and things like that. And I can continue on and on, right? I can add additional virtual desktops for my gaming, the one I want to hide out there at the end maybe, uh, or whatever the case may be. Another cool thing that I didn't show you about these SnapGrid layouts while we're here is not only can I 
We saw how I can get to the settings and I can minimize and maximize the entire layout. You can also close the entire set, all of those windows at once by right clicking and choosing close group. And because I made a change to that word pad, it's gonna ask me where I wanna save it. And I can close that entire group uh, with one simple click. So I like that feature as well. Uh, and just to show you a little more flexibility, I'm gonna flip over. I can't demo this uh, on our setup that we have here. So I took a quick screen grab of my machine that I have at home. And on my machine at home, I have three monitors, three physical monitors. And so you can see here, what I've done is I've actually done the snap grid layout across all three monitors. So this is my first monitor with like my Mondays and Teams opened up. And then on my second monitor, I have my show development area where I've got my notes and my terminal, uh, file explore. And then the third one, maybe over here, I've got some show, social media things going on, my YouTube. But the point is, is you're really fancy with this, right? Take that snap grid layout and do it on each one of your monitors uh, on your desktop at home, or if you have multiple monitors at work. Uh, and it makes it feel like you're sitting in one of those ESPN or news booths where they've got all the different TVs mounted on the wall. Now you can see everything at once. So hopefully you guys found this useful snap layouts available in Windows 11. Take advantage of those and stay tuned for more Windows 11 content coming your way.